Fight commentary breakdowns. We have a Kudo guy. Kudo is Kung Dao. And then we have Zhou Dao, Judo. So this is Kudo, think of it as like karate, but not as intense as Kyokushin, but probably more intense than Shodokan. That's going to get me in trouble for saying that. But anyways, um, Kudo, a kind of a form of karate versus Judo. Um, all right, so let's see what happens, right? Um, the rules of this is no elbows. It's MMA rules, but it gets stood up if it's on the ground for too long, usually three to five seconds. And um, no elbows. And then if you get pushed off the platform three times, you lose also. So, um, two black belts. I think there's a camera switch. No, 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 there's not a camera switch. Kudo guy's on the left. Judo guy is the guy without the hair. Makes sense. Usually grapplers don't have long hair. Except Coach Paris, of course. He's going to take it out. He's going to... Um, he's trying to prevent himself from getting taken off. If they both get taken off, it's a half point. So they both get a half point counted towards them. So I guess if the two of them um, all six times fall off together, they both lose or it's a draw. So um, Judo guy surprisingly not clinching. Is it because he lacks the striking range? Look how much bigger the Kudo guy is. So Kudo guy elects to knee. Judo guy's trying to throw. Oh. A little bit of dirty boxing in the clinch. Guys, this is so cool, man. This is like real-life Mortal Kombat. Oh, 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 oh. Kudo guy pushed Judo guy off. So Judo guy has been pushed off one and a half times. So if he gets pushed off one and a half more times. Wait a minute. He gave up? Oh, come on. That was lame. I guess Judo guy, Judo guy um, gave up. He got knocked out. Dude, that was the worst judo guy ever. Seriously. You know how a lot of times when um, a martial arts loses in the ring, people are like, that's not a real whatever. Like, we know judo is pretty tested, right? Like, this guy, I, is it, guys, I'm not familiar with that throw, but was he hindered by the fact that the kudo guy was wearing short sleeves? Like, would this throw have worked better if um, the kudo guy had long sleeves? Is this why the judo guy couldn't throw him well? Wow, this is not what I expected, guys. Not what I expected. Wow, look at this one. So that's a shuto. Shuto. So shuto, like shoot boxing, shoot fighting. So he's a kind of like a wrestler versus a sumo. So we got a shuto wrestler versus a sumo. What the? This is like UFC, man. This is hilarious. So here we go. Shoot. Shuto fighter. Ooh, okay. He can strike. A little telegraphed, but, you know, he can strike. Oh, the sumo leading with his face again. Oh, 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 oh. Both of them got taken down. And it is counted as half a point for both of them, I believe. So if this happens again, um, six more times, they both win. Or they both lose. Oh, man. Sumo wrestler again. Oh, he dodged that hook pretty well. Oh, leading with his face again. Ah. Oh. Oh, 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 he's pushing him down. He's pushing him down. Oh. Dude, sumo knee or something. Like, don't just get... He's literally just absorbing blows to his face and then, like, trying to push the guy off. There you go. Hit the kidneys, man. Um, they, I think they were in the process of standing them up. So that didn't count as the sumo guy falling off the late type. Uh, for my Japanese viewers or people who speak Japanese, how do you say late type in Japanese? Is there a Japanese? Whoa! That kick would have would have destroyed the sumo guy if it landed. Sumo guy. Oh, suplex. Kind of a useless suplex. You kind of suplexed him, and now you just angered him. That was a really fail. There you go. Oh, dude, this is such a freak show match, man. What are we watching? Oh my goodness, this is so freak show. <laughs> the shooter guy almost looked like he was going for a guillotine choke. <laughs> Guys, I, I know this is not supposed to be funny, but this is funny. Like, the, the judge is wearing like kendo or like a naginata type of like gi. I think the sumo just gave up. Are they giving him a standing count? Okay, not yet. The shuto guy has not tried to shoot in at all. I mean, it's called shuto, right? Shouldn't he try to shoot in? I know, I, I understand in Japanese that shoot is not shooting in, but. I'm just going to be like that because 
I don't know much about Shuto. I'm just being honest. Sumo guy telegraphing his hits. Oh, head movement. All right. Oh. You're kind of in um. What is this position called? In um in jujitsu, Eddie Bravo calls it war dog. What is this position called? Like, what is the traditional judo or jujitsu def um not definition or definition name for that position? Uh oh, sumo looks like. What happened to sumo? Karimas. Sumo looked like he got hit in the groin or something. Dude, by the way, you guys were talking about the dry ice. His corner, his corner threw in the towel. His corner has thrown in the towel. The Shuto guy has won. Wow. Guys, let's look at what happened. How did he hurt his groin? Okay, I think I know what happened. You, no, look at where they landed. So, okay, we're going to we're gonna go slow on this, okay? So, look at when he grabs him. Watch this, okay? I think his 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 um, groin area landed in the thigh or the leg of the of our Shuto fighter. I think that's what happened. So, um, I mean, I think we already kind of know what the sumo guy's weakness is. One, he doesn't strike well. Two, he's barely striking. And three, he leads with his face. I mean, occasionally we saw moments of brilliance when he had um, he dodged with his. Um, head movement, but that was rare and far between, man. Few and far between. And then, of course, this judge, kind of the referee wearing this this garb is so funny. It's like a Ninganato garb. And, of course, the Shuto guy looking like Sakuraba, right? Got the hair and everything. Anyways, guys, shall we watch another one? Let's watch one more. All right? So, Okinawan Karate versus Muay Thai. Um... This Thai fighter has had a few fights before this. Um, and let us see what happens. Junya Tanaichi versus Kuntap Charonchai. So Thai fighter is in black. Um, the karate fighter looks like Ryu um, in white. Not look like Ryu, but he's dressed like Ryu. Oh, he eats a kick. Ouch, that's going to hurt him. Oh, takes our Thai fighter down. They are in the ground game. It's going to get stood up. I think both of them don't want to engage. It's going to get stood up. Watch. He's just waiting for it to get stood up. Referee's going to be like, stand up, stand up. Yep, look at that. Yeah. It looks like it's an eight second, I believe. Next time it's on the ground, we'll get encountered. Because they're not going to do anything in the, on the ground. It looks like they want to fight stand up. So next time we encounter it without missing any action on the ground. Okay. So, um, karate guy. Oh, man. Oh, potentially trying to throw each other off. You you get a point. Whoa, trying to jump into a sacrifice throw. That haunted him. So they're both out of it. So um, each gets um, negative 0 0.5. You know, you get negative 3 and you, you lose. So the Muay Thai guy tried to do like a sacrifice throw completely incorrectly. Oh, dude, what just... The karate guy tried to sweep the leg and ate a punch. What the? Okay, all right. Look at that. Um, he just did a sweep. So now, oh, he, he ate a punch from while he's in the other guy's guard. So they have stood him up. Oh man, action did happen this time. When you get to count how many, each means one. So, um, so, Karate Guy, I think, still needs to figure out his game plan. I think he needs to do a sidekick, man. He needs to, woo! Oh, 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 come on, you got it, woo! Nice, nice. So, he threw Muay Thai Guy off. So, now Muay Thai Guy gets minus one. So, Muay Thai Guy just needs to get thrown off one and a half more times. Oh, great left by Karate Guy. Oof. You got to be careful of the uppercuts of the Thai guy. Oh, oh, be careful, be careful. Rabbit punches look like they're allowed. Oh, they're not allowed. Never mind. Rabbit punches are not allowed. So he's like, you can't hit to the back of the head, man. That's dangerous. So Karate Guy has been a little bit um, hurt. Here they go. Our... Um, Karate guy. Oh, 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 man. Um, Muay Thai guy ended up on the ground again. So Muay Thai guy, if he falls off once by himself, he's done. 
So I think that is Karate Guy's game plan. Just take him down once. Just, like, take him down once. There, get him! Get him down! Get him down! There you go! You won! You won! You won! I think... Karate Guy, I think, ended up out, so... Um, Muay Thai guy basically has a half out needed. So yeah, that's a good game plan. Just drag him out. Oh! End of the round. Save the Muay Thai guy. Oh, this is so interesting, guys. So these are some highlights. We don't have to watch them. Um, talking about different game plans. Let's see what Karate Guy has in store this time. Alright. Muay Thai guy, is he going to change his strategy too? Alright, so here we go. Karate Guy going much more aggressive. Um, the fact that you cannot clinch is so interesting. The fact that you cannot clinch, I'm sorry, you can clinch, but you can't throw elbows, right? That really makes the Muay Thai guy have some trouble. So, Muay Thai guy looks like he's going for a choke or something. And nope. They're, um, standing them up. Muay Thai guy's like, I had such a good position, man. But that's the rules of the game. So... Um, let us see what happens now. Oh, great punch by our karate guy. Man, there's a there's a snap to his punch, man. Oof. Oh, the Muay Thai guy's uppercuts. Oh, I, I think he's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's going for a standing guillotine. I, I, th never mind. I thought I saw the. Oh, oh, oh. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? So Muay Thai guy goes out of the ring. So he gets a half out. Or he gets one out. All right, so. Oh, oh, oh. One out for our um, Japanese warrior here. It's so interesting how... This changes once you know that, you know, too many times out. Oh, oh, Muay Thai guy. Look at that. Um, Pulling the gi, pulling the uniform is totally allowed. Look at that. So look how it changes fighting, right? Like in real fights, people pull the shirts and stuff like that. So, so now both of them have been out twice. I think if both of them fall out again, it becomes a draw, right? So, they're going to check on our karate guy's nose again. Make sure he's okay. Uh, make sure everything's good. So, I think this makes up for the previous match, right? Um, so, now they go. By the way, guys, you notice they're wearing kind of your MMA gloves. They're not wearing boxing gloves for, for the grappling. Oof! Great right by our Muay Thai guy. Muay Thai guy is, is now feeling it. He's feeling it, man. Be careful. Oh, whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop the fight. His mouth guard fell. His mouth guard fell. His mouth guard fell. Dude, his mouth guard fell. This is dumb. This is dumb. Like, that referee should have noticed it immediately. Like, our, our karate guy definitely ate at least one knee to the face without his mouth guard on. That was so stupid. That was so stupid, man. So stupid. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think the medical doctor should probably stop this. Um, but I think they're going to keep going, man. This guy is going to have brain damage for years, the karate guy. Now they're going for it. Come on, pummel. Don't just hold on. Pummel. You know, fight the clinch game. Whoa! Muay Thai guy trying to... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh! What does that mean? Does that mean he eliminated the karate guy? Huh. Hmm. Yep, that's the end. Oh, oh the, the end of the round? So we got one more round, man. We got one more round, guys. Let's see. One more round. Third round, guys. Man, this dragged on for longer than I expected, people. All right, here they go. Here they go. Look at that. Karate guy knows he's got to win this, man. He's being aggressive. 
Oh! Man. I feel like our Muay Thai guy is not teeping. Front kick? He's not front kicking. Use combos, man. Come on, use your combos. Don't just throw one kick or one punch. Man, this Muay Thai guy needs to, you know, props him for stepping into the ring, but, man, they are just giving each other extra brain damage. Ooh. So, Muay Thai guy punched the karate guy out. This adrenaline, man, he it's the only thing keeping him up right now. I think his corner threw in the towel. His corner threw in the towel. So, Muay Thai guy has won. Wow. 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 Yeah, that was good stoppage right there. Good stoppage. Um, so, good job. Good job um, on his team for not, you know, making him completely disabled after this fight. Um, I think... I think what... Despite the fact that the Muay Thai guy... I didn't see any teep. And he took a lot of hits. I think his Muay Thai training, knowing how Muay Thai people train, they're just very conditioned, right? They're really extremely conditioned. So... He's just able to, I mean, you know, it, a damage is damage, right? But ultimately, he's able to kind of take it, whereas the other guy might not be as used to the amount of damage that he was taking. So, wow, this was a fitting ending match for this series. If you guys want to see us watch more, this is Gandryujima. Gandryujima. We can watch more. All right, guys. Uh, fight commentary breakdowns out. Or...